Hey guys, what's up? It's Fern. I hope that you are all doing so well. Thank you for joining me for another planty video. Today we are going to be doing some plant chores, which I know you guys love. Growing season is in full swing here. We are actually in the midst of a heat wave. It's super, super hot. So my plants are drying out like crazy. We're definitely gonna do some watering as well as a few things in there. Um, also need to check on my plants that are outside and I don't think that they're doing too hot. So that will be interesting. This video is ever so kindly sponsored by Glasses USA. We love Glasses USA here on my channel. They have actually partnered up with Transitions Optical and launched a new collection. So I'm gonna tell you about that a little bit later once we go outside. Okay guys, like I said, it is a friggin' heat wave here and my plants are drying out like mad. So I'm gonna start by doing some watering in the bedroom, the messy bedroom, do not judge, okay? Um, I'm gonna take down this Hartley philodendron because it's looking not great. So let's take her down. She is so freaking pretty. Look at this new leaf she gave me. She has a lot of small leaves, but I'm trying to um, just give more of my attention to her because I really want a full pot. And my love is paying off because look at that. However, she is dry, of course. Um, so let's bring her to the shower and give her a drink. I typically water my big plants in the shower. It's just easier. I just lay them down and let them drain in there. Do you know what I'm actually gonna do? I am actually going to give this plant some slow release fertilizer. So I have this one from Humane. I wanna say that they're called Humane Organics. I feel like that's the name, it just says Humane. But this is just a slow release fertilizer that you just shake into the plant. So I think I'm gonna do that because then I can just turn the shower on and water it that way and I don't have to worry about adding fertilizer and getting my watering can and everything. I tend to do this with my bigger plants, it's just easier. It's so much more efficient just showering it because um, it's cleaning the leaves at the same time. So showering off all of her beautiful leaves. Lovely. I have just attached her to our little shower caddy and she can drain there. We know that this bad gal always needs a drink as she leaves a trail of dead leaves behind us here. Okay, let's set her down this way. You know what? I'm actually gonna do the same thing and use the slow release fertilizer with her as well because I always water her in the shower too. Ba, ba, ba. Putting a lot, I hope it's okay. I think it is. Oh my gosh, sorry, you could barely see. She is a thirsty bitch. If she was reviewing the heat wave right now, it would get zero out of five stars. Okay, I have something cute to show you guys. So Hoya Carii Alba Marginata has been doing really well lately and look at that. Oh my goodness, a new baby leaf is coming in. She has just been growing, look at that vine. And I think she has a peduncle, yeah, right? There, oh, oops, it's focusing on my skincare. There we go, so cute. So her leaves are soft, so I am going to give her a good drink. I am gonna fill up my watering can with fertilizer for her though. I don't wanna do the slow release for this plant. Okay, we are back. I ended up cutting my plant chores short yesterday because like I said, heat wave and I wanted to go for a swim. So I went swimming, but I'm back um, continuing on with our plant chores this morning, this afternoon. Not sure what time it is. 
And I'm also gonna talk about today's sponsor right now. So as I said earlier, this video is once again sponsored by Glasses USA. And specifically, I'm gonna be talking about their new pastels collection that they've launched with Transitions Optical. So Transitions is the type of lens. So these lenses actually darken and turn into sunglasses once you go outside, which is crazy. And with the pastels collection, you get to choose what color you want the lenses to be. So these are the sage green and I believe they have pink, blue, yellow, and green, I believe. So they're 100% UV blocking, and the really cool thing about them is that you can be wearing them as regular prescription eyeglasses inside, and then you don't have to switch to a separate pair of sunglasses outside. So as you can see, mine do have a slight tint right now, the green color. These are the Muse and Hilary Duff Rosa frame, I believe. They're really cool, they're gray, and then they have kind of like a chain link at the top. And I thought that the green would look cool with the gray. So let's go outside and see what the lenses look like once we hit the sun. It's so handy for days when I'm like going in and out. Oh, my washer is going, it's gonna be loud here. What's really cool is that they can put these lenses in any of their frames also. I'm in the sun now, so we will watch them. I can already tell that they're darkening up. So crazy. These ones, I've worn them before. Um, this isn't my first time like trying them out, so I've seen it work before, but they don't go like super opaque. They just kind of go into like a darker tinted green, but they definitely, um, I can definitely tell that they're like sunglasses mode. And I have really sensitive eyes, so this is good for somebody like me as well. Okay, anyways, um, I wanted to come out here to show you the sunglasses, but I also came out here so that I could give you guys an update on the plants that I put outside if you saw my video um, a couple of weeks ago now. So we will, we will check out the plants now, but if you are interested in these glasses, I believe that they're limited um, edition, the collab with the Transitions lenses for the pastel collection. So if you are interested, of course, I will have everything linked down below. And thank you so much, Glasses USA, for sponsoring another video. Okay, so heads up, the plants are not looking good out here. Um, I definitely will not be moving any more houseplants outside. This is, yeah, it's a little sad. Okay, so the Dracaenas here, I have two. This one and the Marginata, and they both were pretty much scorched. So I moved them into the shade, but I think the damage was already done. Um, yeah, looking not great at all. And then my Ficus Elastica, the burgundy one, completely scorched as well. I don't even like, it's just gonna lose, you know, like half of its leaves, so I don't know. I honestly didn't think that the Eastern sun would do that, but I guess they do get some like mid-afternoon, like right now it's like noon and they are still in like full sun, so it's just way too much for them. However, the Teneki is actually doing well. Um, ooh, getting pretty dry. I've been watering these like crazy also. It doesn't need to be watered today, but probably tomorrow. We are in a heat wave right now, like I've said a million times. Oh my goodness. But yeah, for some reason this one hasn't burnt yet, which is kind of surprising. Well, it has a little bit there, but it's not bad. And then the cactus, of course they are doing well. I need to water this big one, I think but they are loving the heat, so that's awesome. And then the ficus audrey over here, oh gosh, it's getting a little bit of burn, I'm gonna move it. It's getting a little bit of burn on that leaf, but it's actually not too, too bad. Um, it's in a lot of shade, so it's probably fared, you know, one of the best. This and the ficus teneki are pretty good, but yeah, we'll see, we'll see what happens. I mean, it's definitely been an interesting experiment, um, but yeah, I don't think I'll be moving any more plants out here. <laughs> okay, you don't really need to see me in this part anyways. <laughs> you can see the top of my bin though. So <clears throat> I'm back inside now, obviously. Um, also, I was going to mention, if you want to hear me talk about more about like my feelings and why I'm not really upset about the plants outside to um, watch my vlog. It'll probably be the most recent vlog by the time this comes out. Um, and I kind of just talk about that more. Um, 
But we are back inside now and we're going to be doing some repotting. These plants I've needed to repot for quite some time now. Um, so this is my philodendron El Chaco Red. Look at that new leaf. It is so beautiful. Beautiful backs. I got both of these like right after I moved or right in the midst of my move um, at the end of February, I believe. And they're still in the little nursery pots that they came in. Um, and I've honestly just been neglecting them a little bit. So today we're going to be giving them some TLC, potting them up into a potting mix. And I'm actually going to be giving them both something to climb. So um, I think for the Burrow Marks Fantasy, I'm going to try this wood stake. And then I'm going to be making a little moss pole for the El Chaco Red. I really have a love-hate relationship with moss poles, you guys, as you may have heard me say in the past. I've been trying to do these wooden stakes um, a little bit more, so I'm just kind of still testing that out and seeing how I feel about them. But yeah, let's just get started. I just have black plastic pots for both of them um, because I don't have any terracotta right now. Whew, it is smoking hot in here. I just realized the fan is on, so I hope that that is not too um, annoying if you can hear it, but I'll probably croak. In fact, I need to point it at me a little bit better. There we go. Oh, that's gonna be nice. Oh yeah, that's better. Okay, so let's do, oops, let's do this guy first. Sure, why not? The El Chaco Red. I'm just gonna pop it out of here. Looks like it's in a mixture of sphagnum with some other stuff in there as well. Ooh. Ooh, the roots look good. I'll show you what it looks like coming right out of there. Really nice. As you can see, it's probably gonna lose this lowest leaf soon. It's lost maybe one or two other leaves since I got it, but it arrived to me really well in shipping and um, it's actually been living in my greenhouse cabinet, which I don't know if it's gonna fit with that moss. Well, actually, I think it will. I think it will, but this one's not gonna fit. This is gonna be too tall. So I'll probably grow this one just in this room now. The humidity's decent in here anyway, so it should be fine. Um, okay, I'm just gonna start pulling some of the moss off of these roots. It's quite wet because I just watered it last night. So that'll make it easier. I will be keeping the moss. Sometimes it's so hard to tell the difference between moss and roots. I'm pretty sure that's a root that I just pulled off though. My goodness, so hard to tell. Especially when these roots are just like little and fine. This is just like really like pretty root bound, honestly. The roots are fine, but there's a lot of them. It's really encapsulating all the moss. Okay, that is as much as I'm going to pry the moss off of here. You can see this big chunk <laughs> that it's coming from. <gasps> Goodness. <laughs> okay. My camera battery died like just as I was showing you, so I'm not sure where it cut off, but that's what it looks like. Big chunk and a bunch of roots. So, looks great. Hot. Running really low on potting mix. I'll have enough for these two, I think, but then I'm gonna have to make some more. Uh, 
add a bit more. Oh shoot, we have to do the moss pole also. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna leave that like, I'm gonna set this aside. And then, oh, I don't want it there. And then let's quickly do the moss pole. So, let's move this all over. I have a bunch of moist sphagnum here that I'm just gonna stuff inside this hardware netting that I have. This is by Tenax, I think. This is in my Amazon storefront. Um, it's the best thing that I've found for making moss poles. I do have a couple other videos where I make moss poles, so I'm not really gonna explain too much in this one, but you just want it tightly packed with sphagnum. And then I just zip tie it closed. It's pretty easy, but I always put off making them. <laughs> And this is actually the sphagnum moss that I um, boiled and am reusing, so that's awesome. Okay, I'm gonna start zip tying. Just have these blue ones, they're not the prettiest, but hopefully they'll be in the back. You won't even be able to see them. Okay, that was a bit of a bumpy ride, but we got it in. I'm just going to fasten it loosely. Let me see how much I will need. Loosely around the hole with my garden Velcro. soil just behind the moss pole. Oh, that looks better with it standing up. More straight. Okay, 
This is the finished results for the El Choco Red. Looking really good. I'm just gonna set them off to the side carefully. Oh, that looks so much better. And now for our Burl Marks Fantasy. This one will be easier because we're just using the wooden stake. We don't have to make a moss pole. So I'm just gonna get the moss, this bag of moss off of him. See what the roots look like in here. Oh, they look really good again. It's not as root bound, which is good, but I can see some nice white healthy roots there. Okay, this one was so much easier. This is what the roots are looking like. I'm so happy to see that these both have really healthy root systems. It's just awesome. Now, let's get this one potted up here. I'm just gonna set it in there for a minute. Oh, it's painful to sit like that. Oh, I'm just gonna have enough soil for these plants. Oh, I need to put my, can't forget about that again. Let's see. A little bit more soil. gonna use this pot to stabilize it while I do this. That is better. Now it's not gonna fall over on me. keep this in this cover pot actually just for stability and then I'm literally just going to do the same and fasten it with this garden tape. So this is what it looks like right now. Obviously it doesn't look too pretty because it hasn't been trained up the pole yet, but hopefully with time it will be climbing up this little stake. Okay, since I am dealing with these stakes right now, there is something I've been meaning to do and it's swapping out the stake that my Raphidophora tetrasperma is on um, for basically the same one but taller. So I might as well just do that right now. So I'll bring you with me. Okay, so <laughs> I am being a little bit extra with how tall I am going to be making the stake on this plant right here. This is about double the height of what it currently is. This is about a six foot stake. I can't fit everything in the frame. So I'm sorry for that. I'll show you the plant closer up once I'm done this, but yeah. Okay, so I actually feel like I need to put you at a different angle. This is just not, you can't really see. Okay, let's just try that. 
So this plant has been growing so well on its current stake. I'm just going to try to gently remove it and switch them out. I'm envisioning it to be a super smooth and easy procedure. So hopefully it is just that. It has roots lightly stuck onto it, but I think they'll just stick right onto the other one. Okay, I'm gonna pull this out. Oh boy, it's in there. Oh, here it comes. Okay, got this out. Now this taller one is quite a bit thicker, which I didn't really realize, but it should be fine. I'm just gonna shove it in. the pot what I'm doing. This is really hard to get in the frame. Probably gonna crunch a few roots, but sometimes that just happens. Okay. Perfect. Wow, it's so tall now. Let's see. It's almost whoops. Oh it hits the ceiling. It's almost down to the bottom. It's not bad. I'm gonna kind of have it leaning against the wall anyways so that it's not gonna fall over, but, oh, that is so cool. Okay, I'm just gonna, actually, I'll probably need new pieces of this because this pole is thicker. Yeah, so I'm gonna go get the gardening tape. Let me just remove, there's a dead leaf here while we're here. Some weird dried bits. Oh, this is gonna be so pretty once it climbs all the way up here. Okay, I will show you what it looks like. So that is the bottom. It's just so pretty. It goes up and up. And this is the newest leaf. It's not hardened off yet. And I just kind of loosely put this top part because the root is just kind of behind. It needs to decide. Oh, is it broken? Oh, I think I broke it, whoopsies. Oops, oops, oops. I broke the root back there. That's okay. It'll be okay. Anyways, really happy with that and look how tall it goes. Not that far from the ceiling. So that'll last it a while. Okay, I think that this is going to be the end of the plant chore vlog. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you did. Thank you so much again to Glass USA for sponsoring this video. Leave me a comment down below. I would love to chat with you all and I will see you in the next one. Bye.